Hey guys, it's me, and today I'm here with a new reaction video for you guys, and we are going to be checking out a song from a band that I haven't listened to in quite some time, and that is the latest single from Van Canto, and that is their song called Falling Down, which is coming off of their upcoming album called The Power of Eight, which is coming out June 4th. I love what this band is all about, but it's so hard for me to get into them because it is very power metal. It's very power metal and heavy metal-esque and it just takes me a bit to get into it because of that. And then too because of the fact that they are a acapella group. Yes, if this is your first time ever hearing about Van Canto, they are a acapella metal group. Um, the only instrument that they have actually in their music are drums. I don't really keep up with this band that much. Um, I'll check them out occasionally and everything like, I mean, Primo Victoria, featuring, um, shit, what's his name? What's his name? He's the lead singer of Sabaton. I mean, like, they cover their song and he's a guest on there. Uh, crap, what is his name? J um, Joaquin? Joaquin? Is that his name? Pretty sure that's his name. I don't know. All that I'm remembering right now is the gif of him, like, deep-throating a sausage. That's all that's coming to mind. And also, by the way, that man is so fine. And then their cover of um, Wishmaster by Nightwish, which I love that cover. It's such a good cover. I don't know if this is a original song. I don't even know if this band does original music. That That is how far away from keeping up with this band that I am. Like, I don't know if they have any original music. And there's also a live performance that they did at Vakken a couple of years ago. I can't remember which year it was, uh, but it was a year that they headlined. And it was the full band lineup, which I think there are like seven members in the band. And um, they performed at Vakken, they headlined, but they had like 30 or 40 people on stage. <laughs> singing and um they performed um fear of the dark by iron maiden back when i was getting into metal music that was really the only iron maiden song that i enjoyed and i don't listen to iron maiden anymore they're just it's just not my thing i'm not really big into like classic styled heavy metal new wave of british heavy metal bands i'm generally not really into them the only band of that type of era and everything that i'm into is judas priest but the main reason for that is because Rob Halford is the elder K in which I aspire to be. But that performance was wild and like Taria was part of it. It was wild. It was a wild ass performance. But anyways, getting back on course here. I'm really curious as to how this is going to go because like I said, I haven't listened to this band or any new thing from this band in a very long time. I, I haven't even listened to a full length album from this band. Like again, I am not very up to speed with this band at all. I just know that they exist and that they are very interesting and whatnot. So yeah. And also I should mention that I'm not the biggest fan of acapella music. I enjoy it, but it's definitely not something that I reach out for. Enough of this long ass intro. Let's actually dive on into this reaction video, which is what you guys are here for. Uh, but before we do that, if you guys are new here to my channel, don't forget to hit subscribe. And also while you're down there, definitely give this video a thumbs up because it'll help me out a lot. All my links are down in the description box below. And yeah, let's do this. Okay, I was not expecting that intro. That caught me off guard so badly. Oh my god. <laughs> that scared me. I'm finding it a little bit hard to focus on the lyrics because I'm also paying attention to everything else. This is another reason why I don't tend to listen to acapella music that often is because it's so overstimulating for me. <laughs> Cause I mean the vocal talent that it takes to do shit like this is just insane. It's something that I will never be able to achieve.
Again, like I mentioned earlier, it's a little bit hard for me to pay attention to the lyrics because I'm just so overstimulated by what is happening here. I know the lyrics aren't really everybody's jam when it comes to music, but I like storytelling, and so I want to pay attention to them. But it's so hard to. <laughs> But I will say this, I'm digging the production on this though, because it just sounds really beefy, and I like that. This is pure camp and I live. <laughs> like, dueling guitar solos and acapella. I live. That was fun. I enjoyed it. Like, is it something that I'm necessarily going to reach for a lot? No. And a big reason for that is, like I said, it was a bit tricky for me to, like, like, keep up with what's going on, like, lyrically and everything, because there's just so much sound stimulation going on with this. And I don't know if that's because of, like, the production is different on this release, because, like, with the songs that I've listened to them from in the past and everything I found it a lot easier to pay attention to what's going on like lyrically and whatnot whereas with this I don't know why I struggled with it I don't know if it's because like like certain voices are tuned up too high and everything I don't know I I'm not entirely sure but it it was a bit tricky for me to keep up with what all was happening there I'll have to read the lyrics somewhere so that way I know what's going on um, let's see, someone has the lyrics here in the comment section. Okay, let me read over those. So I read over the lyrics and caught up on whatever it was that I missed and everything. So, uh, for the most part, I was pretty up to speed and everything with what all was being said. But like I said, it was a bit tricky trying to focus on, like, what's being sung and what is being done. Because like I said, there's just so much happening. Like, I love stimulation with music and music videos and whatnot, but I prefer visual stimulation over sound stimulation. If you're gonna have sound stimulation, it needs to be done a very certain way for it to not be overwhelming. And I found this to be just a bit overwhelming. I will say though, I love the touch at the beginning with the um, Napalm Records intro, because like, I'm, I'm subscribed to Napalm Records. I react to a lot of bands that are signed to them and everything. So I'm used to like that like intro and everything, but hearing it done a cappella like spooked me for whatever reason. I don't know why. It just did. It caught me so far off guard. I was not expecting it and it spooked me. But I mean overall though, I enjoyed it. The talent is so real with this band. I wonder if this is like one of those bands that is just like it's better to see them live than it is to listen to them on like a record or something like that. Um, I'm not entirely sure. But that was Falling Down by Van Canto. What did you guys think about it? I liked it. It was nice. But like I said throughout all of this, it was a bit overwhelming for me because of there's just so much going on. And it was a little bit tricky for me to just like 
figure out where to hone in on when paying attention to things. But what did you guys think about it? Let me know down in the comments below. And also while you're down there, let me know what songs and videos I should check out next. And I'll be sure to get to them as soon as I possibly can. But until I see you guys in my next video, whenever the hell that may be. Goodbye.